Saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh but then you came and sat right next to me Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea and in today's video, I am going to be doing a grocery haul. I'm also cleaning out my pantry and my fridge and I'm going to go over how I make my grocery list. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and I am also posting every day until Christmas for Clean Miss. So if you want to see more of these videos, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are notified every single time I post a video. I got the idea of doing Clean Miss from Kimmy Cope and she is this super sweet girl and she has her own channel where she does cleaning videos, organizing, decluttering, um, she's also doing grocery hauls and other types of hauls and they are really really awesome videos and super informative on a bunch of different things so if you want to I suggest you go over there and check her out she is so sweet and would love to have you on her channel as well What I'm doing right here is basically just going through my pantry and getting out all the items that are old. Um, as you saw, some of them are used up and somebody put it back in the pantry. Um, so we have to throw away some boxes and just kind of getting it organized and getting rid of all the food that is no longer good or expired. This is also the time where I can check to see what we already have. That way it'll help me make my grocery list here in a bit. You know, I just go off of what we already have and it'll help me come up with meals for the next week. You needed me like a cargo. You will carry me. I just hope you know my depth, even though it makes no sense. Soon as I'm broken, too much of emotion. Soon as I'm the lighted, you wanna pick a fight with. Of 
so I don't normally clean out my fridge and my pantry to this extreme. It was just I had the camera on and I was already there doing it. So I ended up doing more than what I normally do. I still do this every week. Like I still clean out the pantry and the fridge every week. But mainly it's just a few items here and there and definitely I always take out the leftovers because there is always leftovers in our fridge, but a little bit goes a long, long way. So the next thing that I'm doing is making my list. And the way that I make my list is I basically split it up. So I have my grocery list section on one side of the page. And then on the other side of the page, I have my meals. And when I do the meal side I usually start with dinner and so I'll start with dinner because those are the most important meals like we always need dinner obviously we need breakfast and lunch but our bigger meals are going to go on top which is dinner and then I'll go to lunch and then I'll go to breakfast and um Usually that's because it's the biggest meal, the medium meal, and then the smallest meal. And that's, I don't know why, that's just how I work. <laughs> and then once I figure out my meals, I will move on to the left side of the page, which is the grocery list. I usually start the grocery list with um, all of the things that I know we need to begin with that has nothing to do with our meals, like our staple items that we keep in the house all the time. And then I'll move down to what ingredients we need for all of the meals that I had already planned out. put them all up here and let me go through them so we have vegetable broth which I am going to put in a couple of meals this week and I like vegetable broth more than I like chicken broth that's just me I don't like a lot of meat um then we got these like fruit cups we've got two of what is this one? Pears. I got two pears, two cherry mixed fruit, and then we have some peaches. Those are for Ethan's lunches per his request. Then we have the Mexican rice instead of um, Spanish rice because I like that one much better. So we've got two of those. Two things of Pringles because... <laughs> they this is like gold in our house for whatever reason we go through it so fast um we've got plenty of snacks in this grocery haul because we were completely out of pretty much all snacks so yeah so we got these and then this one's already opened because i just gave it to my kids um to keep them quiet so i can make a video <laughs> um so we have the little bites and then we have another one back there because there's like hardly any packages in one of them and if I was to get one they would be gone before we ever ate dinner tonight so got two of them um I got the lava cakes because I never get these unless we go to Chili's and I love them so I thought you know what I'm just gonna get a package and we have vanilla ice cream here already so that's what we're doing <laughs> I love this with vanilla ice cream on it oh so we got black peppered turkey and um this is going to be for ethan's lunches this week and also one day this week we are going to have um grilled sandwiches i'm not saying grilled cheeses because we're probably going to put some sandwich meat in it as well more peanut butter because as you saw the peanut butter that i pulled out of the pantry earlier we don't go through a lot of peanut butter and my mom gave us a quite some time ago actually a huge thing of peanut butter and it started to taste and smell funny so it had to go so I got some more um Ethan wanted some cosmic brownies for his lunches this week we've got some Doritos because we're gonna have nachos probably tonight and when we have nachos I like Doritos in my nachos um 
Speaking of nachos, we got some nacho cheese and then we got cream of mushroom to go in our, what is it called? Um, chicken spaghetti and some chili to go with the nachos. We've got refried beans to go with our homemade tacos this week. This is for the chicken spaghetti, but I accidentally got one that was too small. I got our groceries delivered and I, I ordered it online and yeah, that one's a little bit too small. I need like two of these basically. We've got this to go with our nacho night because when we have nacho night, I basically cook a whole bunch of really fast foods. So basically a junk food night. <laughs> and so usually I will make it with this, the nachos, um, we will have pizza rolls and if I can find them, we get the mini corn dogs because the kids love the mini corn dogs, but I couldn't find any tonight. So we're just having this with pizza rolls and nachos. I think that's what we're going to have tonight because I can just throw it in the oven. And then we got plain waffles because one, my kids love waffles and two, it's an easy like breakfast sandwich. Just put some peanut butter and jelly on two waffles and you're good to go. Um, some onions to go with some of our meals this week. When we make tacos, we like frying these up and they're so good. I know it's none of this is healthy, like at all. I'm so sorry about that. If you were looking for healthy, this is the wrong place. <laughs> so we usually use those tortillas. This is for the chicken spaghetti. They didn't have any spaghetti noodles left at the store, so I just got some fettuccine, no problem, whatever. Um, some shredded cheese to go with all of our meals. If you know me, cheese is the bomb.com. It, I basically don't cook without it. <laughs> and then, um, we got some Hawaiian rolls to go with our chicken salad this week, but I actually ordered these. And then I also ordered some dinner rolls that you just throw in the oven for about 10 minutes. And I guess they didn't have any at the store because what was delivered was this. Or like basically two of these. Two different brands, but they're the same thing. And I didn't get the dinner rolls, so I don't know. But anyways, we like both of these. It's not going to be a problem. Um, some breakfast sandwiches. I have, um, what is this? Like hash brown patties to go on like our egg sandwiches and stuff for breakfast this week. Got some more bread to throw in the freezer. And um, because for me, I like to have one loaf of bread that we're using and then one in the freezer at all times. No way. You've got to be kidding me. They had to have changed the in ingredients in this because this didn't always say vegan on it. <sighs> I used to eat only vegan stuff. I've strayed away from it for a while now. I'm still, there's still a lot of things that I eat that are definitely vegetarian, but I will eat meat sometimes now or like if we go out to eat, I'll get meat, but that is so cool. That's so cool. When um when we were eating um basically a lot of vegan stuff, which was for a couple of years actually, I've always been weird about meat and so vegan was just like an easy thing to do, especially when I was pregnant with Tegan and after I was pregnant with her or after I had her, we ate everything was vegan. Like everything we ate was vegan. So um we had a hard time finding like vegan regular bread for sandwiches. So we would buy like the Sara Lee like sliced bread. Oh my God, if you've never tried it, it's so good, but it's kind of pricey. So when we kind of started straying away from being super vegan, um, we just went back to like the regular cheapo store brand bread and that, that right there, that makes me happy. Anyways, we have some um, bell peppers to go in some of our meals this week. Also, if you're interested, um, there is actually one meal this week that's going to be strictly vegan that we haven't had in a long time and I really want it and that's why I got these. Well, one of these, the other one's going to go in our chicken spaghetti. Um, I'm super, super, super excited about that and I can probably film that for you and just kind of show you what we, kind of the things that we ate when we, well, mostly me ate vegan stuff. So we have um, some regular hamburger meat back here. <laughs> I'm only laughing because I'm talking about vegan stuff and we got hamburger meat. But anyways, that's for our tacos this week. And then we have two things of almond milk. Bentley still drinks a ton of uh, milk at night. 
<sighs> I know, I know. Um, so, and I like the kids drinking almond milk more than regular milk. So for Bentley, mostly, um, I got him some um, more almond milk because we are completely out. Then we just got some apple juice because we haven't had any in a long time and it just kind of sounded good basically. Um, we've got some curly fries which I might also cook up a little bit of these tonight since we're having a little bit of everything with our nachos tonight. <laughs> then we got some cheesy pizza rolls, regular milk because Ethan doesn't drink almond milk so I always um, get a full thing of milk for him and some cheapy diapers. Um, I like to keep a stock of diapers just in case um, we ever need more diapers and maybe we're not like able to get any then I just like to keep a stock of them so even though we have plenty of diapers right now I always buy like every time I go grocery shopping I always buy another like small thing of diapers that way we are not running out of them at all so just a cheapy thing of diapers. This is just the store brand. I don't particularly like these, but they don't seem to bother Bentley that much. So um, I was okay with getting these tonight, but I really like Honest brand. I like the Pampers brand. I am not a Huggies brand at all. Um, and Parents' Choice, I did not like them for Tegan because they tore her up. They just, she would get so raw within minutes after wearing them. But for Bentley, the Parents' Choice, which is like the Walmart's kids brand of diapers, basically, um, do just fine for Bentley. And then we got some Coke because we hardly ever have Coke in the house. And my favorite soda of all time is Coke. So I just got some Coke. To show you what we are having for dinner tonight I'm basically doing what my dad did sometimes growing up he would basically make a little bit of everything and it's just a whole bunch of like junk food basically and he didn't do this all the time so I think it was more like a special thing if you will I don't know but basically you have we have like taquitos and pizza rolls we have a little bit of fries and then we're gonna have some nachos usually on our nachos night I'll make like a little bit of some extra stuff like you know the fries the pizza rolls the taquitos stuff like that stuff that I can just throw in the oven super quickly and then we can have it on the side with our nachos and then I basically just throw it in the oven for 350 up to like 400 maybe for about 25 to 30 minutes I'm not picky about it at, at all just as long as it all gets heated up um, because everything that I put in the oven is already cooked to begin with. It's just frozen. And then we are going to shake until our fat rolls cannot shake anymore. <laughs> and then um, I pour a little bit of water in this cheese. 
and that way it's not super super thick and um and then I put it in the microwave for a couple of minutes and then we are going to heat up the chili which I also put a little bit of water into because I don't like my chili like super thick. Ethan thinks it's super weird that I do that, but my parents did that growing up, so I, it's just kind of like how I like to do it. But anyways, I just put a little bit of water in it, heat it up, and then it's pretty much done after that. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would really, really, really appreciate it. And I also thank you so, so much for being here. And if you want to keep seeing my videos, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you are notified when I do post. I am posting every day until Christmas. And with that being said, I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!